Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2003 family adventure cartoon called Finding Nemo. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. Marlin is a clownfish who lives in an anemone in the Great Barrier Reef. His wife, Coral, and almost all of their eggs are killed in a barracuda attack. Only one damaged egg remains, which Marlin names Nemo. Some time later, Marlin is overprotective of Nemo, born with a stunted right fin. On Nemo's first day of school, Marlin embarrasses Nemo, and the two argue. While Marlin is talking to Nemo's teacher, Nemo defiantly approaches a nearby speedboat, where a pair of scuba divers capture him. Marlin pursues the boat in vain and meets Dory, a blue tang with acute short-term memory loss, who offers her help. The two encounter Bruce, Anchor, and Chum, three sharks who have sworn to abstain from eating fish. Marlin discovers a diver's mask that fell from the boat. He accidentally hits Dory with it, giving her a nosebleed. The scent sends Bruce into a feeding frenzy, but they flee after accidentally setting off a ring of old naval mines, which knock Marlin and Dory unconscious. Nemo is placed in an aquarium in the office of dentist Philip Sherman in Sydney. He meets the Tank Gang, including Yellow Tang Bubbles, Starfish Peach, French Cleaner Shrimp Shock, Blowfish Bloat, Royal Grandma Gurgle, and Twin Damselfish Deb and Flo, led by Gil, a Moorish Idol. Nemo learns he is to be given to Sherman's young niece, Darla, who has killed her previous fish. Gil devises a risky escape plan. Nemo, who can fit inside the aquarium's filter tube, will jam the filter with a pebble, forcing Sherman to put the fish into plastic bags while he cleans the tank, allowing them to roll out the window and into the harbor. Nemo attempts the maneuver, but fails and is almost killed. Marlin and Dory wake up unharmed, but the mask falls into a deep trench. They descend after it and encounter an anglerfish that chases them. Dory memorizes the address written on the goggles, and they escape. Dory and Marlin receive directions from a school of moonfish, but Marlin disregards them to take what he believes is a safer route. They stumble into a forest of jellyfish, the stings of which knock them unconscious. They awaken in the East Australian Current with a group of sea turtles, including Crush and his son, Squirt. Marlin tells them about his quest, and the story is relayed across the ocean to Sydney, where a pelican named Nigel tells the tank gang. Inspired by his father's bravery, Nemo makes another attempt to jam the filter and succeeds, and soon the aquarium is covered in green algae. Marlin and Dory exit the East Australian current and are consumed by a blue whale. Dory tries communicating with the whale, which expels them through its blowhole at Sydney Harbour. They meet Nigel, who helps the pair escape from a group of seagulls and takes them to the dentist's office. Sherman has installed a new high-tech filter, foiling the tank gang's escape. Darla arrives, but Nemo plays dead to save himself. Nigel causes a disturbance, terrifying Darla and throwing the office into chaos. Marlin, seeing Nemo's act, mistakenly believes Nemo is dead. After Sherman throws Nigel out, Along with Marlin and Dory, Gil helps Nemo escape through a drain that leads to the ocean. Heartbroken, Marlin bids farewell to Nigel and Dory and begins his journey home. Marlin's departure causes Dory to lose her memory. Nemo reaches the ocean and meets Dory, but she does not remember him. However, her memory returns when she reads the word, Sydney, on a drainpipe. Dory reunites Nemo with Marlin, but a fishing trawler captures her in a net along with a school of groupers. With his father's blessing, Nemo enters the net, and he and Marlin instruct all of the fish to swim down. Their combined force breaks the boat's net, allowing them to escape. Marlin and Nemo reconcile. After returning home to the reef, Marlin is more confident, while Dory has remained friends with Bruce, Anchor, and Chum. Marlin and Dory see Nemo off as he goes to school. Meanwhile, after the dentist's filter breaks, the tank gang escapes into Sydney Harbor after being placed in bags. Still stuck in the bags, they ponder what to do next. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.